Have you ever tried to describe the color of stars? Some might look yellowish, while some look bluish. If their light is emitted from the surface of the stars, you can actually estimate the surface temperature because color is an indicator of the temperature. When the surface of an, an object becomes very, very hot, it starts to radiate light. And depending on how hot it is, the hue of light changes from orange to blue. Let me formulate the sentence more professionally. The color temperature is the hue characteristics of radiated light emitted from the hot surface of an ideal black body. Here you are presented with a pathway that is positioned within a CIE 1931 XY chromatistic space. The pathway illustrates how the hue of light varies as the temperature increases or decreases. At around 1500 Kelvin, a black body emits orange light. At around 10,000 Kelvin, a black body emits bluish light. Therefore, this curve corresponds to the hue of a black body with various temperatures. And this curve is called as Planckian locus. Then, how hot is 10,000 10, Kelvin? The color temperature is conventionally stated in the unit of absolute temperature, the Kelvin having the unit symbol of K. For instance, the surface temperature of a filament in an incandescent bulb is approximately 2800 Kelvin. And the surface of a temperature of a sun is uh, the surface temperature of the sun is approximately 5,800 Kelvin and is, it is almost constant. However, just imagine the sun you experience during the day. Before the sunrise, during the day, last but not the least, the sunset. The color of light we experience by the sun is not one the color changes rather dynamically. So we need to know about the correlated color temperature. The correlated color temperature indicates the most close color temperature of a black body that emits the same hue. For example, the correlated color temperature of an orange LED is roughly uh, 2800 uh, Kelvin. Because the color looks very similar to the color of a filament in the incandescent bulb. Therefore, the color temperature of the sun, as we observe on the Earth, is actually the correlated color temperature. The sun ray reaches to our eyes after having passed through the atmosphere. The scattering in different ways results in different hues. Because we human beings are living in the air, perhaps it is more relevant how the sunlight appears when the eventually it reaches to our eyes. How the sun looks like in the space must be exciting, but our visual perception has been evolved on the surface of the earth. The International Commission on Illumination, in short CIE, ruled the standard illuminant based on the human experience of the sunlight on the Earth. In particular, for the range between 4,000 and uh, 25,000 Kelvin, uh, the CIE defines the formula. The technical report is updated in 2004 and all international standards related to illumination are referring to this report. Now let me show you how we use this standard illuminant.
Now it's a memory and I'm in front of the building of the Department of Industrial Design. Let's take the pre-related color temperature of this light. Let's see. My chromometer reads the correlated temperature is approximately 6,100 Kelvin and um, the illumination is um, about 2,100 lux and the distance from black body locus, which is UV value, is approximately 0 0.005. Okay, let's see then how the standard illuminant for 6200 Kelvin is defined along the spectrum of a visible light. If the spectral distribution of the light source matches to, to this chart, it should be a perfect natural light. Accordingly, the color rendering index of that light should reach to 100. On the other hand, due to the RGB LEDs, now we are exposed to more colorful lightings. The hue of lighting color is not limited to Planckian locus. In order to describe the color of light in this room, the color temperature is not enough or even incorrect. What could be the other possibilities? Let's think about that.